Hello guys, today I'll be doing a video, or multiple videos for that matter, on how to convert a car for Need for Speed Undercover. Because, you know, you see me do that a lot. And to be fair, Undercover doesn't get modded all that much, so I doubt many people actually know what they are supposed to do. So instead of going around having a pain champ trying to find someone who actually mods Undercover, here's a video instead. Pretty nice, not gonna lie. Anyway, watch for this video. I'm gonna be doing an easy conversion, which is from another Need for Speed game, specifically Black Box era on the Speed Engine, because that's the easiest. This means uh, anywhere between Mossad and World, those are generally the best models to convert. Uh, underground two and one or two low poly, and the run is just. Uh, it's just uh, on the frostbite engine, so it's not really as easy to do really anything with it. However, it's not impossible. You can you can do it, but uh, it's for in terms of the models that are in the run, it's better to just look at other games, specifically Criterion. Though you gotta deal with hash parts. They're like medium difficulty. Same with forts and stuff like that. Anyway, I'm not gonna be delving too much into it. So firstly, due to converting speed engine into speed cars, what you want to do is open up car toolkit and uh, locate the car you want to convert. Now, uh, here I was just doing some stuff uh, for one of my upcoming mods, so uh, that's the reason why we had that there. But we're gonna, in this case, I'm converting the next car for that, the 996 uh, GT2, GT2, which is just so happens to be in Need for Speed World. There it is. So this is the one I'm going to be converting today. Now, I will probably redo the texture for the headlights. I'll show how I'm going to do that. Pro oh, I'm just kidding, I'll probably speed it up. While still so much showing it. Anyway, this is the model we're going to convert. It's the GT2 996 from World. So what you want to do is press export all. Uh, go to, the, to your desktop or whatever, it doesn't matter. But export as OBJ, OBJ because why the fuck not? And also you can export the textures if you want to. However, uh, let me see what it did actually. Does it export? Okay, yeah, that's kind of shit. Okay, don't do that. <laughs> I kind of forgot about that. Take them from the actual folder. So let me just uh, do. Let me do that. Yeah, I could sell by the way. There we go, I have the textures on the desktop now, so these are going to be used for a later point in the video. Anyway, this is where we don't need car toolkit, and instead we can start a blender. Now that we are in blender, you are going to go into file, import, and then the wavefront object and import your model. So here's our model, as you can tell. So uh, it has different LODs and stuff, as, as you can tell, and different pause markers, you know, that, that's normal. That's not really a surprise. Now, one thing I am going to do is sort of, a, not cherry pick, but I'm going to choose which uh, pause markers I'm going to keep, which uh, specifically which kits I'm going to keep. Because I'm not going to be keeping every single kit, that's for sure. Also, yeah, as you know, naming scheme is actually that good right now. So when you when you're porting stuff from most wanted carbon or world, it has these damage parts. Now what you do with these is you select and then X. You just get rid of those. And same with the female driver, it just doesn't work in mo in in undercover sadly. But it would have been pretty cool to have a driver. Oh, and also you gotta get rid of the interior somehow, but I'm gonna show you how I usually do it. Anyway, there's also car skin UV for the windows in world. Uh, we get rid of that as well. As for the kit, I'm gonna keep W01 and I'm gonna delete literally everything else related to it. Now, are the doors any different compared to regular doors? Let me check that. Because sometimes they could be different, you know? No, they're literally the same. And I'm not gonna do uh, W02, that's just kind of dumb, so I'm gonna keep just one kit. And also, do I keep the hoods? Nah, no, look at how fucking hideous they are. Get, get rid of that shit, I'm not keeping those hoods, that's so fucking hideous. Anyway, first thing we gotta do is rename the base, because 
It's not doesn't even fall into kit zero zero, which is very important in this game, by the way. In case you did not know, also don't do that. Now it's Ace, the fucking dumbass shit. Anyway, a lot of this is just a bunch of renaming, so uh, once I've renamed everything, I'm gonna give a bit more of a rundown as to what you sh what, as to what the names should be. Okay, so I'm done with the, all the renaming now. Actually, so I'm done with all the renaming now. So as you can tell, uh, a, a little bit has changed uh, in terms of the models. Some stuff are missing from compared to before. However, the biggest difference is you know there's some the weird wheels that were there before. Yeah, those are missing because we, I removed the E lot that uh, undercover doesn't use. It, what's more important is that you just make it bigger. It's this here, all of this. So, first off, all the pause markers are different. So, one thing that this separates Pro Street and Undercover is the naming scheme. So, let's say in the case of break uh, underscore break underscore front underscore one, in most wanted carbon in the world, this is underscore front underscore break underscore one. So, break and front are swapped. Draw a position 
only exists in Pro Street, and you see in the others it does not. And also, this is another thing that's odd specifically for Undercover. You need to call it stuff. You need to call the effects and the exhaust tips. Exhaust. I say underscore center underscore zero zero one zero one zero two whatever. That's a very strange uh, oddity about Undercover that even Proshi doesn't have. Now also that applies uh, that naming scheme. Uh, fuck. That naming scheme uh, reversing applies to literally everything, including actual parts. So let's say brake front here is usually front brake, or let's say bumper front is front bumper, and so on. Also another thing that's odd to that is uh, not odd. I mean, uh, but uh, a thing about uh, most wanted carbon and world is that the white body kits, or in the case of most white, the regular body as well, are just a big shell and not separating to separate parts. That is a little weird, however, you can actually just call it Kit W01 Body A and have basically an indestructible body kit, which is amazing. Basically give your car armor for free. Also, another thing you may have noticed is there is no interior part anymore. That's because it's now part of the base. And I also had a driver position because it did not have, bef have that before. Now, what I am going to have to do is completely centralize this. So, uh... I mean, we're gonna do that in Z mod though, because in Z mod it is uh, 60 times less painful than in Blender for some reason. I'm not sure why. That's just how it is. So uh, I'll do it in Blender. Uh, Blender, I mean, uh, fuck. I'll do it in Z mod. So uh, let's just go to Z mod real quick. Oh, okie dokie, now that you are in motherfucking uh, Z mod, uh, as you can tell, uh, in this case, I have some uh, fucked part names. So we're gonna have to fix that. Not like that's uh, the biggest pain in the world, we just uh, go like this, and that's it. So uh, give you a little bit of time, and I'm gonna do this as well. Okay, so once you have renamed everything, uh, because you know OBJ is not the best format, but it's better than FBX by the way, uh, you're gonna have to move anything that has to be moved. In this case, this is the only thing I have to move. Uh, here's exactly how I have to move it, so uh, I'll zoom in a lot. We'll go to modify and move, and now move it so that the X, or like the thing or the box, aligns with that. Let's see, so I'm gonna also check some other angles to make sure it is completely centralized, but it should be. Back, fully centralized, right, fully, bottom, it is perfectly, uh, it is perfectly uh, centralized, that is ideal. So this is the only thing I had to move, everything else is fine. So uh, I'm gonna export it, 96 G2, Z3, Z3D, I'm gonna export all Z3D, because that's the only one that car took it can actually read, sadly. And then, uh, to make my life slightly easier, I'll open the Z3D boy, here it is, and then export all again, I'll export it into itself. Only reason is... For the config here, which I'm gonna get to in the next video. So, uh, so that was the first part of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, be sure to wait for. The, be sure to check out the next one, because you know there is more to this. So uh, I'll see you in the next. In, I'll see you in the next part of the tutorial. By the way, guys, and I have a second channel called Godarm. There, I'm gonna do videos on Valorant, Forza, Dirt, or any other game that I personally enjoy. I have uploaded my first video there, so go check it out. I'll leave a link in the pinned comment.